like wear that leather jacket, put the earrings on, maybe just got a t-shirt, jeans, heels. Oh. Hi guys and welcome back. So I thought today I should do a video that I think we all, we all need. What are the essentials, the core? Because I've talked about how to build a capsule wardrobe in general. And if you want to see that video, I will link it up here for you. So I collaborated with Mel Soldira on today's video. She has done her own version of how to build a capsule wardrobe for fall, and I've done mine. So I will link her video below. Please definitely go and check hers out. Anyway, I'm just gonna get stuck into this video and everything can be interchanged and worn together. What is that? Okay, so first up is outerwear, and I split it into two basics one is a leather jacket and one is a coat slash blazer i've said this before in other videos and i really don't need to tell you but blazers are having a massive comeback at the moment specifically the plaid or prince of wales type e jackets i got one that i'm going to show you right here you've already seen it in my fall haul video but this to me is one of those things that is the perfect in between seasons jacket it's just right for fall which is chillier temperatures where oh it's a bit cold today i need to like put something on you can't just wear this you've got to put a little jacket on and this is where this blazer comes in i'm not sure if it's going to work with probably not with this color of this shirt but you can see what i mean it's just a very simple this is from a menswear department but i'm going to link online to a couple that i saw which i thought were absolutely spot on one is high end really high end and one is the exact opposite actually two are the opposite one high end which is a stella mccartney jacket i'll show you insert pictures here of it absolutely gorgeous love this to pieces if you're one of those people where you're like mm, what should i buy today you know what i mean you've got money to like burn this is the jacket that I would say that you should go for. It ticks off all the boxes, it's so on trend. It's got that mannish boxy cut to it, but at the same time, it's a classic piece that even though you spent four figures on it, it's going to last you season after season because blazers do not go out. They are a trendless item in my opinion, even though they are trending at the moment. I have another check jacket, it's brown, and I got that about five years ago, and I still wear it. In fact, I wore it in my what to wear in fact, I wore it in a recent video and laid it over um, a dress. I'll try and insert pictures or video of it here. So these jackets are just keep coming back. Um, I saw also from the lower end two. One is from Mango. Have a look at this. If this isn't the dupe for the Stella, I don't know what is. But the price point was perfect. Everything about it is ditto for the Stella version everything that you would look for in a mannish style blazer everything that you look for in a mannish style blazer and i also saw this one from Target of all places and i thought mm, Target, i don't know you know it could be a bit iffy but looking at the reviews everyone seems sort of like pleasantly surprised like oh my god i love this blazer the quality is not too bad for the price so i thought I'm going to put this one in here look at the pictures of it again it ticks off all the boxes and it looks exactly like the type of thing you'd want to wear and what I like about blazers is how easy they transform everything you've got and make them much more it's it starts to sort of winterize your clothes a little bit more when you put a blazer on like this it was fine before but once you put this on it has a sort of full take or twist and that is the power of a good mannish blazer if you want something a little bit heavier, but it still ticks off the boxes of being that sort of checked gray look, look at this one that I found. It's actually a coat that I found from H&M. Very strong black and white look to it. Look at this. I thought this was fantastic. I love this. So I saw this online and it is still online. I'll link it for you below. But this falls three quarter length, so it's much longer. Let me show you back here so you can see. It's perfect to just transition to the end of fall slash going into winter. I think this is great. Just lay like sort of like a black scarf and stuff over. Oh God, this is good. Anyway, I'll link it all for you so you can get this if you want, but I love this. Mine is a size 10, okay? I have broad shoulders. I'm five foot seven by for reference. So if you're like me and you're quite wide here, go up a size for this coat or two or three sizes like I did for this coat. 
another essential for an outerwear piece is a leather jacket. Go for a black leather jacket. When you found the right one, now this is definitely an investment piece, but once you found the right one, it sounds corny, but it truly is gonna stand you the test of time. And when you've got the right one with the perfect leather, it's just gonna break in and it's gonna look even better later on than when you first got it. I have this one from Primary New York, and I have to say, <laughs> oh my God, look at pictures of this jacket, the leather. I just, I can't explain. In fact, I am, but in my stupid waffling way, I'm explaining about this bloody leather jacket. So you've got to have it in a really classic cut and a classic style. And to me, this jacket is. And I have a 15% off discount, which you can use towards getting this jacket, or you can use it site-wide on Primary New York if you want as well. Okay, so those are the outerwears. Now let's talk about what I call the insides. What goes underneath the jackets and underneath the blazers? My mind goes to skirts, knitwear, and jeans, or, or pants. Those are sort of the three categories that I think of as far as like a cap. You would wear all of them. You could interchange and mix everything that I'm showing you. I don't know what the heck that is. What am I doing now with my hands? Anyways. So first off is this skirt from Mango. Look at the color. That's the first thing you're going to notice, isn't it? It's a pleated skirt in a stunning, rich marigold mustard color. You know what I think about mustard. And what I like about it is that it's going to look so good, this skirt, with the gray. Remember the gray blazer and that gray sort of coat I showed you? Gray and yellow look so good together. Oh my God, how can I explain? Oh wait, I'm going to do this again. You don't know, if you saw my full haul video, you know what I'm about to do. But it's just worth repeating. Look at this. <gasps> Yellow with grey. It just, oh, it just works. Anyway, so I would highly suggest if you're into like the greys, definitely consider this type of skirt in a mustard colour. It's going to pair beautifully. Another essential for a full capsule wardrobe is a winter floral dress. I've talked about winter florals already and I absolutely love them. If you want to quickly pick out what I define as a winter floralist, look for a dark base, dark colours. Maybe the actual skirt, maybe the actual dress is black, but the print of the florals on top. Make sure those florals are small in terms of the size of the prints because you just want like massive flower heads all over your body because it can look really distracting, noisy and date. Anything that has a small, small ditzy print are perfect for you. I saw this dress on H&M. Look at this. It just came in. I'm already considering it because I love it. I love the high crew neck here. Very practical for fall. You can layer necklaces on top of that. And it has like a drape here that sort of goes here, sort of, that sort of secures here all by itself. And I love that. And it's just got that crew neck, long sleeves. It just looks like the perfect, this is the perfect winter floral dress. It will really give you longevity. And I'm about to explain to you why. So next up are jumpers. Now I would go into two broad categories for your capsule. A thin jumper or sweater as you call it in America. A thin jumper or thin sweater and a thick sweater. For a thin, I would go for a turtleneck, a classic turtleneck. I would go with black or I would go like a tan color and that would be the capsule. So black and tan to me are the most sort of wearable combinations. So if I was wearing this black wintered floral dress that I showed you, under it, I would layer a black thin turtleneck, just like that here, and I'll put on the screen a couple of turtlenecks that I thought are just perfect for this capsule wardrobe. So you wear that, that turtleneck, nice and high up here, skinny sleeves to it, skinny thin material here, and that allows you to layer that dress on top of it. So, so good. And then another thing you can do with that dress is you can turn around and get a thick sweater. Now, it's up to you what color you want. Again, it's a capsule, so I'm, I'm forcing myself to pick one. So you can choose black if you want, but because that's the most sort of fail-safe color. But if you want to be a bit more adventurous and really have like a shot of color or a punch in your capsule, why not go with this jumper from H&M? I remember when it first came out, I went, 
this looks lovely and i saw it in person so i can actually attest to what this looks like in person you can buy with confidence on this jumper it's absolutely gorgeous and the way i would wear this is i would turn that winterized dress into a skirt put the dress on put the jumper on top of it that is going to look so good but you see what i'm doing here everything i'm mentioning is working with the other item so i oh i just think that's such a good combination now for shoes i picked two broad categories i picked heeled boots and then i picked flats now for the boots category i picked these boots i believe these are from the aldo or steve madden website but anyway i'll put it on the screen where they are actually from i saw these and i thought these are exactly what i am looking for the heel it's high but it's a block so you're not going to get that wobble factor it's going to give you that sort of sexy but chic look wear those boots with that long dress put those two together put that blazer or that jacket on top oh, god you know what i'm talking about here this looks so good read the reviews as well okay all the links for everything are below but read the read the reviews for these boots okay and now i'm just going to leave it there and then for the flats side of a capsule full wardrobe i chose two categories i chose these mules look at these how stunning are these mules i think they look so much more expensive than they really are they're by sam edelman you could team those with any sort of midi skirt midi dress i just think they look so good also with a pair of like just sort of cropped jeans straight leg jeans so good really chic and these are a great sort of day to night shoe which is completely comfortable and you wear these and you put you know what i like about these look at the color in that mule how good are those jewel tones going to marry with the gray that i showed you earlier for the outerwear and even with a jacket oh god this is just so i'm getting hot just thinking about the combinations that you could do with these things oh, another flat shoe recommendation is a good old loafer you now there's so many low-end versions of loafers they are just everywhere it's a real sort of juxtaposition of mannish and feminine when you're wearing loafers on women at least i believe it is you cannot go wrong with them uh gucci spearheaded the trend obviously with those and they are not going anywhere just like a blazer or a leather jacket a loafer to me is a perennial i've tried them on super comfortable they're honest do you know what which is so annoying to me they are at least on my shaped foot they're the most comfortable loafers i've ever worn they go with everything skirts long short and with the jeans as well and with all the outerwear items that i showed you earlier if the idea of a loafer sort of makes you think like oh boring then why not go with a metallic loafer why not it's going to go with all the items i mentioned to you before like these these are gorgeous i have these these are by topshop and i've had them since last year these get compliments every time i wear them and they are out again i will link to them below beautiful really really metallic color very sort of like a a brassy yellow color it's the best way i can describe them but they are so so good to wear but you can always go with a black one i have these top shops in black and again same principle they will go with everything in your wardrobe i could wear this with what i'm wearing now that's a beauty and the power of a good classic loafer now for bottoms i would just recommend two things one is a pair of jeans and one is a pair of corduroy pants either one or both you decide jeans i love a good straight cut high-waisted pair you find that they're perfect everywhere but just a bit too long just cut them I saw these on top shop via nordstrom because remember nordstrom does carry top shop as well thought these were absolutely fantastic they tick off all the boxes that i look for they're not skinny go up a size or two in these as well so you get that sort of comfortable slouch very like already worn in look to them and they've got that flattering like high-waisted cut and you can wear the thin knit turtlenecks that i mentioned earlier those would look really good tucked into that or all your t-shirts as well so that's perfect and then put the blazer on top of that oh god love that then for the second pair of pants i saw are these by urban outfitters it's these corduroy pants look at these they come in so many colors anyway my favorite color are the mustard ones look at these yes i know yes i know i recently saw these corduroy pants on the site and i'm still thinking oh my god do i want these pants but anyway i think these are really good for a capsule wardrobe again 
decide on the color you want to pick to go to marry with the other items but if you're into the gray mannish menzies type of blazers then why not go with that mustard color that color is going to look perfect with the gray blazers or even with a black leather jacket for example now to the last part which i call these the finishers now these are the items that to me accessory wise really put that extra sort of oh onto your capsule wardrobe one is a good belt now gucci belts obviously we know are trending a lot and they still are full force for this season um i still love them and i love to belt them over coats because i think it's just the perfect width for the one that i have and i'll link it below for you to go over coats to go over blazers as well also braided belts look at this one hold on and we'll show you the belt in a moment <laughs> Braided belts to me are perfect. You know why I like braided belts or belts like this? Is because you decide where you want the, um, the size of the belt to be, because it could be anywhere. If you're someone who goes to work and you work in a smart office, I would so do something like this. You know what I mean? I mean, I just did it very crudely just to show you. But the point is, it goes over coats like this. It goes over blazers like this. Um, it's just a nice way to sort of add a little bit of a feminine vibe to your clothes. Choose the hardware you want. I tend to go with gold because I'm thinking about my skin tone. I like gold on my skin tone. If you're a cooler toned person, then go with silver. And you can go with a brown belt or a black belt. You decide based on what your capsule wardrobe colors are. And then for hats, I would choose either the Fisherman or Baker Boy hat, go with classic black, or you could go with fedoras. You already know, if you're long-time followers of my blog, you know how I feel about fedoras. And just interchange between those two, but those two items will work so well with everything you've already got from the capsule wardrobe. And then last but not least, a bag. Now, it was very hard for me to pick a bag because bags to me are subjective, and what I like is not what you would like and vice versa. I will tell you the elements of a bag that I would think would look so perfect right now go with something that's got minimal hardware and something that also has a structure to it oh and don't forget statement earrings oh my god that's also a finisher up there with belts it just oh, it dresses up anything from day to night you lot know what i'm talking about pick one good statement earring and you will be able to work that baby from day clothes all the way to going out for drinks in the evening like wear that leather jacket put the earrings on maybe just got a t-shirt jeans heels oh anyway you understand what i'm saying all right so that is my lot i hopefully hopefully this video gave you some ideas on what i think are the essentials for building a capsule wardrobe for fall if you did find this video in any way helpful then please do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and um, I think that is it, except to say, don't forget to check out Mel Saldira's take on her full capsule wardrobe for fall. And I think that is all I want to say, except I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys. I wanted to do this video because I feel like this is a type of sub subject. Mel Sordira and I decided to collaborate today and we thought we should do a cow to build a capsule for wardrobe for, I think I got these like, oh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's better. What's the word I'm looking for? It slights to winterize. It slights to sort of, slights to? You wear that over any, you will, and like with, and like, and then for the flats side of a capsule full wardrobe, I chose two categories. I told, I, t I told, you would wear all of them, all full, and you could interchange and mix everything that I'm showing you. I don't know what the heck that is. What am I doing now with my hands? I might also be like a traffic warden, you know, like just give me the, anyway.